Hi guys, I'm Angel and he's Ryan and we're the readers and we are here for some product testing items today. So we hope you guys are doing well. Um, we picked up some things along the way. We have some things from Kroger's. Sorry we missed last week. Yes. Busy, busy day. Busy, busy weeks. So we'll make it up somehow. Yeah. So, and what he's talking about is we didn't have a video come out this past Saturday. So sorry for that guys. Um, but we have three items that we've picked up from Kroger's and four items that we have picked up at Marshall's. So our first item, we're going to try to drink and then I'm going to probably end up drinking it as we go through is the Mountain Dew Spark. Is that what it says? Yes, it says Mountain Dew Spark. Okay, so we're both going to try it. And what it says, it says uh, Mountain Dew Spark. It says... With a blast of raspberry lemonade. Who's that? Excuse me. <laughs> Was that somebody you need to talk to? No. I'll call back in a minute. Okay. Did we take the regular phone off the hook? I did. Ooh, I don't like the way that smells. She's not a big fan of Mountain Dew to begin with. Not for me. It is better than the thrashed apple. I can drink it. Mm -mm. About a six pack, so. I guess he's going to drink it. I'm not. I'm not a Mountain Dew drinker. It's um, kind of odd. It's sour, as you would imagine, from lemonade. Um... It's like a pink lemonade, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very much like a pink lemonade. Yeah. Um, so it's okay. I would definitely, I could, if they don't sell it out and they put it on sale, I would probably buy it because I like Mountain Dew. Well, I seriously doubt they'll end up putting it on sale because the Thrashed Apple, they have tons of it at Kroger still. Well, so yeah. apparently it wasn't a huge hit. Thrashed Apple's not really good. Okay. So now we're going into. New Lay's chips. New Lay's. These are Lay's sour cream and onion. Layers. Layers. On the package, it looks like it might be like an onion ring type thing. Uh, okay. It's different. It's not an onion ring. It's not round. It's like that. And then on the end. Feels like a bugle. Kind of does feel like a bugle. Let's check. Crunch is like a bugle. Kind of has a taste of a muncho. That greasy aftertaste that munchos have. Mm hmm They're good, though. They are good. They have good flavor. Definitely crunchy. Definitely enough flavor. Different. They're definitely different. Definitely different. Um, I don't think I necessarily buy them. No. All right. Let's try this. Let's try something sweet. Okay. So, it's uh, the cookies with a little jam in the middle of it. They're called mildly sweet and slightly tart jam sandwiches. But what what does that say? Raspberry what? Right here. Raspberry Linzer. Raspberry Linzer. And when you open it up, here's what you get. Um. They're good sized cookies. They're a decent sized cookie, and they're gluten free. So if you have gluten allergies, then you can eat those as well. And that's what it looks like. Oh, cute. Sweet. We're going to each do one or you just want to share one? Mm, we can just share one. They're pretty good size. Let me just take a bite. And... They're bigger than a typical cookie. Yeah. You can see the, I don't know what kind of flour or gluten, gluten-free stuff. You see the specks in it. Oh, gluten-free. Hmm. Not bad. It's different, isn't it? 
I had worse. Do you think it's like a shortbread to you? No. Um. I don't know how to describe it. I don't either. Because that really is jelly in the middle. You have the jelly. You have the like jelly that. in the middle, which you can taste. There's a <clears throat> some like powdered the sugar. There's some powdered sugar on it, and you can taste the powdered sugar, but the flavoring of the d dough for the cookie, I'm not really sure. Huh. What? Mm. Oh, God. Okay. That came from Marshall's. It's literally like you put jelly on a, uh, on a flavorless cookie. How about that? Uh, to me, it tastes like something you would get if you went to a party and they had a tray of something out. It's almost like it's like a bakery-made cookie in a way. Okay. The next thing we have are macarons. Biscatelli macarons. Macarons. You have a... This is lemon flavor. Lemon flavor. Oh, they have a fancy little top opening. Mm-hmm. It opens like this. And then they're individually wrapped. They sure are. They come in a little foil. And they're even like, there's dividers in here. Can we take one out? There's little dividers. Like egg carton or something. I guess they're fragile. Hmm. I think the only time I've ever seen macarons is on like cooking shows. No, I bought macarons at the Wildflower Bakehouse and they're good. We said we're too small. We're too small. No, they're not too small. They're not too small. We're going to share one. There. I'm not really getting a lot of lemon. Fluffy? Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Not impressed with that. The Wildflower Bakehouse is much better. I'm not could, impressed with it, but... Could I, be I the lemon it. itself. I'm not sure. I'm getting lemon. I'm not getting lemon. I got lemon. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Keep I got like a weird flavor. Dry. Okay. All right. So now we're back to the second chip. The second... Lays layers. This is a three cheese flavored. I don't like the aftertaste that that lemon macaron, macaron. We never, we never. We have that small smells cheesy. Ooh, oh. <laughs> cheesy mm. wheezy. Smells like, smells like somebody cut the cheese. To be honest, but I'm sure they taste good. So it is. It's like three layers of chips. Now this one has holes. In the center. The house. The house. You ready? What you do? You have the texture of greasy. Beautiful. You think it's munchos. like a greasy? They ever eat munchos and you have that greasy aftertaste. There's a little bit of that. I like it because it's crunchy. Hmm. Parceling, not something I would buy. Um, and no. then, and then many of you that have uh, when they're fine been watching our videos, I uh, know that I've had issues with hives from certain things, um, and it just cheese in general because it has an auto flavoring in it, an auto coloring, and so I'm allergic to that. And so it has paprika. Paprika, I've been having issues with. So Mr. Reader will be eating those for sure. Or we'll take them to school and let the kid do. Let's do the strawberry. We'll save something good for last. Okay, so she's thinking this will be not so great. The biscatelli macarons strawberry flavor. Now the lemon, I wasn't that impressed with. Uh, if you want a macaron, go to a bakery. Don't waste your time with these. Go to the Wildflower Bakehouse. Um, 
They've had peppermint uh, macarons that I've gotten before there, and they're amazing. If you know what the difference between a macaron and a macaroon? Well, other than another, they're oven. the same thing. Uh, it's a macaroon or a macaron. Uh, it's a macaron because it doesn't have two O's at the end of it. Yeah, other than the different num numbers. Of Excuse me. They okay. look pretty. Mm -hmm. And when you eat them, they're not crunchy in any any shape or form. It's like feels hard. So you put it in. It's just that one is a little bit better than the first one, I think. Does taste better. I think it leaves a weird aftertaste in your mouth. It does. Lemon one did too. Yeah. The flavoring has an aftertaste. It's not. That's not. It's just weird. It's not good. What is it that? What is it that they make macarons with? Is it patashu? Is that what it's called? I do know. I'm not supposed to. Well, here's the problem. They're made in Russia. They're trying to kill us. Okay. But, I don't know. He don't know. I don't know. Let me get it right. Okay, so the last thing we have. The he, last thing. He picks up another one of these glutenetto uh, artisanal Italian cookies. And... Has two flavors. These are assorted. So there's two different flavors in here. There's strawberry and apricot jam sandwiches. So... What could possibly go wrong? The first one, the first set wasn't terrible. I could eat that before I would eat those macarons. Once again, you pull it out and there are five cookies. So... Um, hey, no. That's strawberry. Okay, and here's the. Is that apricot? apricot? Are we trying one of each? So, you can tell apricot is orangish, the strawberry is reddish. We're going to try one of each. For your view and pleasure. Mm. Not bad. Not an apricot fan. You don't like it? No, not really. Mm. I heard worse things. The yeah. apricot jam is not bad. The cookie itself is different. It's almost like. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. As a friend of mine once put on Facebook, I don't know what gluten is, but apparently I like it because gluten-free stuff tends to. Now I could so good. personally, I could eat these. Well, we got eight more. Of them. Well, we might take them to school and let our kids try them. So. Oh yeah. All right, we're doing the strawberry. Uh, Okay, I have high hopes for this because otherwise, I think we've struck out on just about everything today. You like the strawberry? No, I do not. I don't mind it. There's not a thing we ate today that I would recommend. Not one. Even the Mountain Dew? If you're gonna get Mountain Dew, I'd just get Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, but it's fine. And the ones I have, I'll drink. Um, but. So I don't know how to describe those cookies, the glutenetto cookies. But I would not, for my personal opinion, I wouldn't describe them in a bad way. Um, would you buy more? Personally, for me, with the issues that I've been having with hives and breaking out and things, I don't have a problem leaning toward gluten-free stuff uh, because of whatever's in it. But 
I don't know that I'm gonna rush out and just buy a bunch. We might get a Ziploc bag and put them in it so they stay, so they don't get dried out. Okay. I think our kids at school will like them. It's certainly fancier than what we do. Well, Normally. and if you ever go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they have a huge selection of foreign stuff. Kind of weird kind of snacks from chips to nutty things to like cookies. Like the macarons were made in Russia. Uh, these were made in, these are actually made in USA. But of course they're gluten free. They're gluten free, but they also say they're Italian cookies, so. Artisanal Italian cookies. Artisanal. Artisanal. Artisan. Artisanal. See, she even said it right. Artisanal. So, that was our taste test items for today. Um, kind of a strikeout. Uh, I would say that the gluten glutenetto uh, cookies for me was the best. This would be my favorite. Excuse me. These would be my favorite of everything we've had. Uh, they weren't bad. So, they like a fart, so. So, if you would like to try something like the glutenetto cookies or the uh, macarons, uh, those were purchased at Marshall's, and you could probably get them at TJ Maxx, some of those stores. Um, the Lay's Layers, both Everywhere. of them. You can get these anywhere just about that they sell Lay's, particularly grocery store, Kroger's, Walmart, and stuff like that. The um, Mountain Dew Spark, you can get it uh, at Kroger's for sure, and probably other grocery stores, as well as Walmart. So, um, if you want to try those out, just get you some, see what you think about them. You may have, I mean, especially if you have gluten allergies, you would probably like these gluten-free cookies. There's nothing wrong with these. They're, it's texture. There's. It's all about the texture. The cookie texture, it's, it's, all, it's, it's like, it's not, the flour is not sifted or there's extra stuff added in almost rather than stuff taken out. Maybe gluten makes stuff smoother. I don't know. Well, what was it you said, you saw, your friend said? Whatever gluten is, I like it. So, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so with that being said, guys, we hope you all have had a great week. And until next time, be safe, be well, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas.